story from the national capital where the debate between or the battle between the center and the Kejriwal government over the twin rapes of minor children has taken another twist. The Kejriwal cabinet today sought radical changes in law to counter sex crimes. The chief minister says he wants either the death or life sentence for heinous crimes against minors and also called for bringing down the juvenile age to 15 in heinous crimes. Is Mr. Kejriwal now trying to establish his identity as someone who can take a tough stand on women's security? Or is he playing mere politics? Ankit Tyagi now reports. It's not that the crime is increasing, it is only the registration has increased. It's an all-out war in the capital. And it's the Delhi chief minister versus the Delhi police again. After the rape of two minor girls in the capital, it's not security but petty politics that has become the big issue. It is nothing but political positioning. I don't color in our work. Let the rajnitis of the rajnitis. They don't give them. They keep the वो ये देखें कि दिल्ली के अंदर महिलाओं की सुरक्षा इतनी खराब क्यों हो रही है As protests raged in the capital, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal called a meeting of his cabinet and proposed that rapists over 15 should be tried as adults. अगर रेप, मर्डर या कोई हीनस क्राइम होता है तो उस केस में जुवेनाइल वाली जो एज है वो 15 साल होनी चाहिए। Not just that, a commission of inquiry will be set up within a week to examine issues relating to women's safety. A list of rape cases pending in various courts in Delhi will be prepared to fast track them. Setting up of special police stations to register and investigate crimes against women has also been proposed. In addition to these, Arvind Kejriwal has also sought the control of the Delhi police for a year. Few provisions that Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal wants to implement, like reducing the age of the juvenile to 15, death punishment for rapists, and also parallel police stations to be formed if the complainant is unsatisfied with the response of the local police, will once again put the Delhi government on the collision course with the centre. The Delhi Chief Minister has declared that he won't let Prime Minister Narendra Modi sleep peacefully over rising crime in the capital. The question is, will women in the capital be able to anytime soon? With Ankit Tyagi in Delhi, Bureau Report for India Today. To our face-off tonight, is this politics being played over rapes or is Arvind Kejriwal serious about making a difference? Kiran Walia, former Minister for Health and Family Welfare from the Congress Party and Preeti Menon, Preeti Sharma Menon, spokesperson of AAP joining us. Preeti Sharma Menon, please tell me, Arvind Kejriwal, when he was in the opposition or when he was fighting the Sheila Dixit government after the brutal gang rape of a medical student said, Delhi police has completely failed. What are the Prime Minister and his LG... Sorry, he says that today. Earlier, he would blame Sheila Dixit. Today, he blames the LG and he blames the Prime Minister of the country for the rapes of minors. Has Arvind Kejriwal somewhere been guilty of playing politics in the manner that he and his government have handled these outrageous, ghastly twin rapes in the national capital? There have been these ghastly twin rapes in the national capital and you have a chief minister that has immediately taken cognizance of what is going on. He has taken cognizance of the hurt and the anger of the people mm -hmm. and the pain of the victims and he has gone about even changing the way laws will be framed in the future. So he is starting a step which would be more, uh, uh, which would make Delhi safer for women. No, he can't. Why no, no, let's be clear. Arvind Kejriwal cannot change the laws of the country. Ma'am, Arvind Kejriwal cannot change the laws of the country. He's appointed a commission which he says will, fast, will, will bring in fast track courts. Mr. Kejriwal can't do that. That will have to be done by the central government. No. no. No, the law is not like that. The criminal law is on the concurrent list. And certain aspects of the concurrent list we can legislate over unless the parliament legislates to overrule them. 
those laws will stand in that state so suppose if the government can legislate over the age of a, a person who has to be tried mm -hmm. then unless the parliament legislates otherwise that law will stand we have also studied the law before making these so attempts you're saying, you're but saying, what we are saying that the parliament too wants to bring down the age so where is the conflict you are saying yes, Arvind Kejriwal will actually conflict? act on the these BJP recommendations the BJP has said it wants exactly the same thing you know let me turn to Kiran Walia uh, he will certainly act on these recommendations let me turn to Kiran Walia Kiran Walia do you believe that Arvind Kejriwal is playing fair because when he was in the opposition he would blame Sheila Dixit should he be taking the blame rather than passing the buck to the LG, to the Delhi police, to everyone else but himself. Mr. Kejriwal knew very well that he is fighting an election for the chief ministership of Delhi, mm -hmm. which does not have the powers of other states. Mm -hmm. And he knew very well that the police was not under them. To now wake up to the idea instead of waking up everybody else, that he wants the police under him, otherwise he'll make other people lose their sleep, is a bit impatient, childish. He, he must be more matured. This is not the way to run the government. I would like to say three things at the outset, because your program has for a very short duration. Mm -hmm. That they fought election on two planks. One is corruption and one is on the way, in the wake of the Nirbhaya case, that they will not tolerate. Now, what is there that... I heard the representative of their party say mm -hmm. that he has been very fast in reacting to this. They should have known the moment they took reins of the government that they knew what the issues are. Instead, they have disbanded every program that we were having, the helpline 181. They have disbanded the Awaz Uttar program, which was community policing, because these cases are not only a matter of law and order. This is how the community protects, and there are we, is something are we known saying, as a bonami are, are we saying, saying chief minister? Can, are we saying chief me, ministers can ensure that rapes don't Mahila take place in a city? Dal. Are we saying no. chief ministers can ensure that? Are you really, do you really believe that this can be done Did through chief Biden? minister? Whether it's Sheila Dixit or Arvind Kejriwal, can they no, resolve I'm, the problem I'm of rapes in the capital? That there was this That's exactly what I'm saying. That these were enabling programs and instead they said we'll have Maila Jatha Dal or Suraksha Bal which has not seen the light of the day. So they disband everything. 1098 was a reminder to people that here you can complain if you find a lost child or somebody knows something about it mm -hmm. and that 1098 has never been advertised. People have forgotten that this helpline is there. So with all these programs and excuse me since last three months the Delhi Commission for Child Protection Rights is not there. It is a legal body to Pre monitor all this. It's an appellate body. Its members are not there. Nobody Pre has Sharma. woken up to the fact that to have the members okay, there. So security. with all this on the, in their account. Okay. So I would, and I won't like, I know the public would not like Can we come back to the subject of gender security? security? Ma'am, I don't want a tutu ma'am on this. I just want to know each party's position. You're saying Arvind Kejriwal has failed with existing programs before he moves into new measures to try and improve women's safety. Give you a final word, Preeti Sharma Menon. It's time to look at administration. This is a problem of tightening See, administration, not blaming not the police, not blaming LG, them, not blaming the Prime Minister. Them. A few months back, Mr. Sardesai, a few months back, our Madhmi Party government had an entire Vidhan Sabha session on women's security. Mm -hmm. It is the first time in the history of India something like that took place, where a government is focusing on women's security specifically. A lot of measures have been announced over the last months. This serious focus of changing laws in order to make punishment more effective, 1500 rapes in Delhi and not one person, only one person has really got uh, convicted. So those steps are good. Everybody should be happy about it and welcome it. Are you saying simply by it. taking over the, the Delhi police he will solve don't the have problem? The patience. Is it all, at the end of the day about taking over the Delhi yeah, police? That is that all be, that yes, you want? We, yes. You believe no, that, that will change the situation? That is one part that if we got the Delhi police. I'm certain that if the Delhi I police was moved it. into the Delhi government, it would change the situation. But the other measures too will be effective. And as far as patience goes, we do not have the patience of a Congress which in 60 years has ruined the country. We have the impatience of today's Aam Aadmi Party which wants results now. Okay. And we will work on it. Okay. And the measures that are, uh, I mean they should Let be welcomed by everybody because that's okay. what every party has always claimed that they want to do. Okay, 30 seconds Kiran Walia, they don't have the patience that the Congress party had. 30 seconds. They want quick results.
they want quick results but then they should have started long ago they have not done okay. they have not moved in the matter they have dismantled i said you can't dismantle programs if you're doing good point number two which is extremely serious regarding this juvenile age that he's trying to boast about that movement that proposal is already there before the parliament right. and that he needs to express views on this so there were child rights right activists who are against I, I, I want to leave it there. but at the same time Something needs to be done in the case of those juveniles who are committing heinous crimes. And let me say there has been a 47% increase in child rape and missing kids ever since Mr. Kejriwal has taken the reins. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there. His jurisdiction I'm going to leave issue, it there. This is not, not a time. We don't you know, know what I, the police I, I, I is and how it does. Okay. What has he done? What is under his jurisdiction? Okay, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. The advantages of being in the opposition is that you can always ask the question. Mr. Kejriwal had that benefit or luxury when he was in the opposition. Today it's the turn of the Congress party. At the end of the day, think about those children and their families.